everybody welcome back to my channel today I'm going to work with this clock uh, I found it at the thrift store many many months ago before all the pandemic started and I kept it because I wanted to work with it and I never had the chance and now I have it and I'm going to do something with it it was completely assembled with the handles, you can see the handles here, the hands, <laughs> sorry, not the handles, the hands here. They were uh, red and white and I painted them, but after assembling it, the, the whole clock, I'm going to retouch them because when you handle them, the paint tends to come off. So I'm going to make them perfect later. I disassembled the mechanism and I also disassembled all the parts. I'm not going to use these two things. Of course, I'm going to use them someday for something else, you know, with the wires. Always have something to do with what others were going to throw to the garbage. And um, this was glued to the back, as you can see, with some double sided tape. Oh, sorry for the noise, but I use it as a template because I'm going to make a farmhouse clock with this. So I had this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful scrapbooking paper, as you can see, and I cut the circle and I'm going to adhere this to this background and the background back to the clock. So I'm going to use again some double sided tape to glue this together as it was. Oops, sorry! <laughs> An earthquake! So let's place this here at the back of the up the bottom of the clock and now I'm going to add the scrapbooking tape. I think this is enough. Oh come here please Okay, here we go. I have to make a hole here for the hands to be able to be inserted again into the mechanism. I'm going to add this wreath on top to make it farmhouse style on top of all this. I don't mind that you can see a little bit of the black because it's black. It, it's, it fits. I didn't have enough uh, of this ribbon so I had to remove some from another <laughs> project to finish uh, wrapping the wreath. This is something really easy so that's why I I'm not showing you the whole process. I'm just finishing this. Oop. I need my finger protector. And I'm gluing this extreme to the wrist. Then I will continue wrapping the ribbon. This is a ribbon that I bought on eBay from China at a very good price, price sorry, and from a very good seller. Because you know, experience with Chinese sellers is not always the best. But lately I've been noticing that they are taking more care of their customers. There are problems with the shipping time 
because of the pandemic, but that's not their fault, of course. So, I have to add the other part. Just a little bit, oh my god, I had to look for the other project to get the little bit of ribbon that I I was missing. Uh, that's not nice, but well, I'm glad that I had the the ribbon to to finish the project. So let's glue it here. A little bit more of hot glue to make sure it's absolutely glued to the waist. And we are almost done with this. It's very simple. And I really, really love how farmhousey this looks. I made a lot of wreath with a sorry for knocking the camera with a buffalo check ribbon okay now I have to cut here are my scissors have to cut this extreme this border bye bye Oh, I made a mess here. Okay. And let's make sure that there is enough hot glue to glue this piece of ribbon. Okay, so now we have the border for my clock. A lot of little pieces of hot glue around. I will clean this later. It's a mess. Before assembling everything, I'm going to assemble the mechanism and I'm going to add the numbers. For the numbers, I'm using some stickers that I been coming for years right by now and um, they have letters and numbers so I'm going to add them. I made marks previously to make sure I'm going to place in I was going to place them where they should be so let's start with 12 I don't need the B. <laughs> so, so let's start. The one, number one, goes here. Oops. Let's do the same with all the other numbers. I decided to finish everything off camera because it was taking too long um, and it's simple, it's just adding stickers the numbers and then I replace the other numbers with these stars a kind of stars and that was mainly it uh, assembly the assembling the mechanism is also really easy I thought I didn't need to explain you because you're going to disassemble if you're going to do this you're going to disassemble the original clock and you will see how it works. It's just a screw. Here is the, 
the mechanism you insert it in the hole insert the screw the shorter hand goes at the bottom on top of it the larger one and the one that uh, mark the seconds is the one on top it uh, seals everything in place so this is it about um, making the the clock um, now I'm going to add the final piece which is the wreath and I'm going to glue it to let me see where should I add the glue okay I want to glue this part of the ribbon that is kind of loose and I don't want that I don't like that so doesn't want it to stay in place please please don't do this to me right now well I think I will have to add glue I don't know I'm going to try and see I'm going to add some here and here it doesn't need to be glue all around and anyway I can add glue later to the spots that are not at the air completely the glue gets dry quickly and as I am in Miami we don't have cold weather so I have the air condition on because we were having 82 degrees so the glue dries even faster but well I'll fix any problems later now I'm going to press and see where it needs more glue and then I will have to remove for example oh, I can't glue it for example here and here the glue that didn't touch the wreath it is harder than I thought I thought it would work easily but it didn't it happens when you are working live Anyway, you get the idea of how my farmhouse clock looks. I will have to use E6000 probably. This is not going to work with just hot glue, I think. No. Only the, the ribbon is getting adhered to the, to the clock. So... I think I will stop here just to show you this and as usual after finishing the video I will show you the final product perfectly assembled um, by the way this is for a challenge that is the, what, the clock challenge DIY that is hosted by Xavi French Door and her co-host is The Schwowin's Nest so I will leave the link to their channels in the description box as well as the link to the playlist with all the videos entered in this challenge. Please visit the hostess's channels and watch all the videos and uh, if you like this video please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done it already and ring the bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video. I want to wish all of you a very happy new year. This is my first video of the year or the second I think yes a second <laughs> and um, hope to see you in my next video thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful wonderful day bye bye